Welcome back to the channel, friends. My name is Chief Chuan. I'm pumped to have you here. This is Assassin's Creed Valhalla episode three. We're diving back in. Why wait? Let's get after it. All right, everybody. Last time we met the King of the North. I believe, I forget his name, but anyways, he told us that he would send his men with us to fight off our arch nemesis, so that's pretty sweet, but we were wondering why he wanted to help us and what was in it for him. Didn't seem to really get an answer on that, so um, yeah, we're just going to follow up on that uh, that story here and and uh, see where it goes. I'm pretty excited about it, but uh, we got to speak to Sigurd here, so we'll go, we'll go talk to Sigurd. We just finished taking one of... Um, uh, Kiatve the Cruel's Outposts, I believe that's his name. I could be saying it wrong, but anyways, who cares? It don't really matter. He's a fictional character. Where is Sigurd? Is he up on this tower? There he is. I think we're planning the uh, the battle here, so let's get after it. Kiatve's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? Do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. The neighbor may give challenge to Kyrtve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is, is this what you want? Kyrtve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kurtwis should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Dang. This is awesome. Today Looks like we're going to have a battle. do the work of Skuld's sharp scissors and cut short the cord of Kurtwis' fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga song. Let's get it. Eivor, a word. Basim, hide them. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kyotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kyotre yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kyotre's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Kyotve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kyotve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. Cool. Here we go. We're getting right into the Assassin's Creed story now. We're finding out that uh, Kyotve isn't just a Viking warlord. He's actually attached to the Templar Order, I would assume. Or some version of it. I'm sure it, uh, it changes names through the ages. I'm excited for this. Sneak around my walls like a thief in the night. Face me here now. The fight is mine, Kjotve. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this. That's a big boy. This, this is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. What a fortress! I call a home gang here against the Oathbreaker. I will make you beg as your father begged, Wolfkin. Scream as your mother screamed.
Is he is he Did wanting to old school life? wrestle? Oh I my goodness, what is this? What is this? He one tapped me. He's huge. Oh. <laughs> this is amazing. This is not your day to die. Just got absolutely stomped. Let's talk with Odin, so that's pretty cool. Why do you refuse to die? We're not alone, Jutme. The old father watches. I can't believe how hard he hit me there. I mean, I haven't switched my old key out from my where it is, so that's probably not helping, back. but uh Your flesh will feed my wolves. Oh my goodness. Oh. Alright. Let's gonna see. You kinda gotta get the cadence of, of their attacks and stuff. Oh, man. He has like his bloodlust it almost looks like when he hits his red. It's kind of scary. Eivor's getting tired here. Took me down into the pit. Hi them. That was a bad move, Hytham. Oh! Kyotave wants more, he doesn't even care. Oh! He just used a body! <laughs> This guy's an absolute legend. He just picked up a freaking corpse and hit me with it. That's legendary. I'm not even mad. Like that's a that's a that's a move and a half. Oh, oh, oh. That hurt. I have a feeling staying out of his uh, fury attack is kind of the key. Oh, oh, that's the one. That's the one. You know what? Eat it. Oh, oh, he's faster than me. I thought maybe if I attacked him during his attack and I got there quicker, I wouldn't take as much of a beating, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Oh, Eivor. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Eat it, kill the bay. Not cruel some more, hey buddy? Dang. 
This is quite the uh, quite the cutscene. <laughs> Some serious business. Ravenclan, your lives are forfeit. Come forward if you must into the crucible of your doom. Who's this guy? Your father is dead, Gorum. His debt repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in <laughs> wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. Archers, Let's get it. fire. Ah. Lock is destructible from inside. That makes sense. Maybe we should hop up on this lap. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, I'm like, are we just gonna bust the gate? Is it that easy? There's no way. This all makes more sense. Forward to glory! Here we go, boys. Oh my goodness, these guys are messing around. There's too many. Oof. Is this Raven guy not gonna help? <laughs> Ooh. Shatter the shield. Eat it. Alright, let's get that gate open. I think that's kind of the key here. That way we can bring our boys in. Ooh, this is sick. Yes. Let's go. Ooh, there we go. I really like the combat system because not only can you deek and dodge, it has the auto lock where I dodged away and dodged right back, not with any any try of my own. It just it just auto locks back in, which is nice. It keeps the combat a lot more smooth. You're not just swinging aimlessly, wasting energy, because that's frustrating, wasting stamina. On an attack that oh these are my guys. <laughs> Oops. It's hard to tell sometimes. Oh, oh, oh. Who's this big boy? He's got his axe stuck in the ground. Mind you, I am playing on the easiest uh easiest setting, so. Bear in mind that the game is not as easy as, or as hard as I'm making it look. <laughs> uh, it's it's uh, it's it's awesome so far. I'm loving it. This must be the same kind of thing. Gates locked from the inside. Gotta find our way over. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Should be able to climb this pretty easy, I would think. Oh yeah, there we go. No problemo. No problemo. Oof. Let's go, boys. Hop on and let's get it. Oh, this is cool. We still have to kill Gorm, which is kind of nice. This is very refreshing from last episode. A little bit more uh, gameplay going on here, which I'm very excited about. That was uh, that was a whole lot of me doing nothing. Oh my goodness, I'm getting daddied on here. There we go, get some health back. Keep doing some damage. I think this is one of their guys, so let's let's dummy this guy. Yeah, bad idea, dude. <laughs> oof, oof. <laughs> what is this guy? <laughs> You'd think that guy was like a, a dang hero for goodness sakes. He, he, uh, he gave me the goods. Oh, I guess my guy, my guy died as well. Turn that guy into mush. Oh, like where do their bodies even go? They just disappear. Is our guy taking on two guys here? He sure is. I don't think so. Let's clear up some room here for these guys. Let's go kill Gorm. Coward. Please no. 
Oh my goodness, stop. They're, they're, uh, oh, there we go. Their attack pattern is like, once it starts, it's unstoppable. You can't, you can't quit it. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. Okay, okay. Is that really how this is going to go? Why are you hiding up there, you little weasel? This is a nice, uh, this guy had a nice pad. Where did he go? I figured how to drop down. There we go. That'll work. Wasn't the cleanest way, but. Oh dang! Is he taken right off? Oh, he has to. Please, his father dies twice today. Dang. All right. Well, I was hoping I could put that guy down, but I'm sure we'll see him later. Look at this castle. It's beautiful. Kyotve, his fortress assault is complete. Eat it, Kyotve. Time to speak to Sigurd. Eivor, we have the day. Let the coward go. Eivor, the breath of battle rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruyavilke. A toothless cub may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You're always right. Guthormr! Relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. He'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Alding at Alvikstad. Tell him we will come, battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and look what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. You got it. Loot we will. I know, soon. Another time. Sunin doesn't seem too pumped about it. Even though Sunin should have plenty of people to eat. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful game. Alright, well. Skill points, I still have not used any of my skill points, nor do I know how to use them, so that's awkward. I guess I should figure that out at some point. Let's check our map. And see where we have to go. So we're here. So we do head out this way, I would assume. Yes. Alright, let's do it. Let's head on to the next objective. That was a really cool battle sequence. I really enjoyed that. Whoa. When you get boots done by that guy. He means business. Put that boot right in your front teeth. Good. We're going the right way. For once, we are headed the right way. Reach Alrikstad. You got it. Oh. Going the right way? Let's make sure. Yes, I still am. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure. Because <laughs> I am bad for that. Not that it'd be too big of a deal, I mean. Look at the scenery. Doesn't hurt the eyes. It's 
pretty easy on the eyes if you ask me. This is this is an incredible place. I wonder how true to Norway this is. This kind of this, this kind of a look. I wonder if their terrain is like this because it's gorgeous. My wife is Norwegian, so I'd like to visit here someday. Her family's from Norway. I'd like to uh, like to go take take a look. If it's this, if it's anything like this, looks like it's pretty tough to beat. Who those guys are? They might be King Harold's men, I guess. Not too sure. This place looks pretty sweet. Nothing too fancy. Where is Fine and Speak to Sigurd? I honestly forget how to get off the horse. Oops. Look at that. There is our skills. We should look at this right now while we're chilling. What do we got here? Fate, let the fate guide your path. All your unspent skill points be auto assigned. Everything, everything can be reassigned anytime. Well, let's do that. Let's hit fate. Let's see what that does for us. Stomp on their face to kill them. That's pretty sweet. And what's this? Stealth recon automatically highlight enemies when crouched and undetected. Sweet. I like that. This all seemed pretty decent. Step close to seal face and say that again. I said your stench is strong. That's your only strength. There's one of these. Look at that. There's a torch button. That's your skill points. Okay. I am still very confused as to... Okay, there we go. Seize dismount. You know, you don't play for a couple days and you forget everything. Now, what is Sinan? What is his thing? I thought it was... There we go. Perfect. Let's see you, old friend. So Sigurd is in this area. Is he not? Seems like he is in this area, so he's right in front of us. Somewhere. Who's this guy? A thirsty foe. Sink it faster than me. You are the winner. Is it the silver or the courage you're lacking? Oh dang. I have an iron stomach and a power. You know what, son? I haven't I've have yet to drink in this game, so until we figure that out, I'd rather not challenge people with silver. <laughs> you have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's troops. And Gorm is too weak to try and Crazy. Hold. He's just standing there in the bar. There's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Ooh. Basim, watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. The hidden blade looks real nice on the arm. He's hides him well. He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kjotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? 
Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gordon is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, Ooh. there is a trick I can teach you. Oh my goodness. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, your allegiance hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. All right, one more trick in the old, the old bag here. Let's get it. Know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. That's a big boy. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. He hopped over that fence a lot more gracefully than I did. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. I bet you that's a super warm hood. A leather hood like that? I bet you that thing is super, super warm. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. tough because I can't figure out how to walk slowly. <laughs> first usage of that stomp we unlocked. That's pretty sweet. Works out well. Still wants more, hey? Good night. Let's loot some of these guys. Broken shield. Why do I want that? Alright, Gorm. Look at his face. Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So f you and your god talk. What say you to that? You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shat into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd dumped into Hell's deepest ditch. <laughs> Keep growing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. Ooh, this Gorm guy, he's talking pretty tough for not wanting to the come up behind the gates. Started. I should find Sigurd. Oh, removes that in a sassy way. Eivor, easy, easy there, big cat. Oh, we don't have anything to eat. Hold on. Let's grab some of these berries from these bushes. I'm not one to pass by a berry when the hell is low. Alright. Let's go see what Seagood's up to. And also, I need to figure out what that button is to allow us to stealth walk. Without accidentally sprinting. Like an absolute loser. And drawing mad attention to myself. Got an issue there, bud. <laughs> I 
Aiko have the ability to stealth attack all the guards here. Look at this guy. Looks like, looks like he's either cold or ate something bad. And the guts are just about to turn. He's trying to get out from beyond the castle walls so he can relieve himself. Whoa. Hello. Hello, Papa. I call his name is Warbringer. That's what they're called, those, those units. It's a pretty sweet name. Sooner than later, by the sounds of it. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. <laughs> Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arms near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. <laughs> I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blooded before the age of ten and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask... Who among you rejects this new arrangement? Oh, here we go. I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Bjorn. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together, we fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina, but I hold no grudge. And may the fates grant you good luck. My king, I offer you my axe. Oh, jeez, of course. Ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotveson. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrout, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjotve Slayer. Ooh, here we go. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? You are king of these lands, Harald. The decision must be yours. A modest and honorable answer. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. <laughs> Gorm was bad enough, but Worm. <sighs> it's a whole other level. Harald, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, Father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. Oof. I don't think you that's going to age well. Nothing of this to me. Not a word. I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Oof. You hit him with some stuff there. Forgive my son. 
He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Bunyal, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. There was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I dream of a glorious death, but not at the cost of betraying my family. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to Ooh. take us. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Dang. King Harold be switching some stuff up. Well, this one's gonna play out. Seeker doesn't seem so pumped about it. Alright. Well, you know what? That was a dang good episode, y'all. I like that. That was that was fun. We got some good battling and we we killed Kyotfe, the cruel, which was good. Got our, our father's honor back. And uh there's some crazy stuff on the horizon. It's gonna be good. I'm I'm excited to see what Sigurd and uh, Eivor uh decide to do here with King Harold's uh little little ambush he threw on them with uh with Stebjorn. So anyways guys, it's been a pleasure hanging out with you. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed, if you're having a good time, please hit the like button, subscribe, that'd be awesome. I know everybody says it, but it's true. We can't do what we do without your guys' support, and I really appreciate it. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you on part four of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one.